Welcome to another video. Let's evaluate the cube root of 128 with that calculator. And if this equals to uh, brackets 128, everything raised to the power of 1 over 3, which is this, the same thing as this, then we are going to uh, rewrite this 128 as 125 plus. 3 everything is to power of 1 divided by 3 and here i want to make a quick assumption from the law of indices and i will start this if you have uh, a rules of indices like this x to the power of n dot y to the power of n i will combine these two with a common power which is x y raised to the power of n and by applying these rules uh, in the above but i will do something different but it will be a little bit related uh, if i take 125 uh, raised to the power of 1 over 3 out and i create another bracket and if this is 1 plus and uh, here is 3 divided by 125 everything is to the power of 1 over 3. what i did here is if you expand this using this uh the preceding uh rules we are going to get uh this one so they always say you can pause this video and try that one out all right uh let's proceed but this 125 is uh, the same thing as 5 which is the cube root of uh 125 and we have 1 plus 3 divided by 125 everything is to the power of 1 over 3 and if i start this i call it uh star star and i want to deal with the bracket only but uh from this if you have 1 plus x everything is to the power of n is the same thing as but this n as a condition the value of n here uh let me just take the absolute of this n uh, the absolute of this n is always less than 1, which means that the n here takes fraction and also takes negative. And the fraction in the form of a divided by n, uh, a divided by b rather, and uh, we have negative as well. It can take negative value or it takes fractional value. And by expanding this using the binomial expansion, we have this result as 1 plus, uh, we have nx plus uh we still have n bracket n minus one divided by two factorial then x raised to the power of two plus we have n bracket n minus one bracket n minus two all divided by three factorial x raised to the power of three and this is your normal binomial expansions and that's how it will keep going and if i apply this in the, the bracket above as 1 plus 3 divided by 125 raised to the power 1 over 3 we have a comparison of 1 plus s raised to the power of all n and we have uh, 1 plus 3 divided by 125 everything raised to the power of 1 divided by 3 and this one uh this one if you have x equals to 3 divided by 125 by comparing and the value of n equals to uh we change this one to overall raised to power not x it's taking n only but both we have n is 1 divided by 3 and uh, by comparing this and uh, we start putting all this value remember that the value of n here it has a value that is 1 divided by 3 and uh, the value of x is 3 divided by 125 and by knowing these two we start putting it in the formula above and whereby you have bracket 1 plus uh we have 1 plus 3 divided by 125 always to power of 1 divided by 3 equals to the first one is 1 so we write uh 1 plus and the value of n is 1 over 3 dot y for the x is 3 divided by 125 and plus we have n again which is 1 divided by 3 
bracket under n which is one divided by three minus one bracket all divided by two factorial and the value of x here is three divided by 125 by carrying raised to the power of two uh being the third term and this is how the thing we're going but I will, i'm going to stop at this third term and i will expand this if i expand this we have three go here and here is one plus one divided by 125 and plus why this is uh if this uh find the same here we have one divided by three dot and here remains one minus three that is minus two divided by three by finding the lcm and uh, everything divided by two factorial is two and we have this as three we take square and 125 we also take square and that's how it will be going plus dot 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 uh, here is one plus one divided by 125 is equivalent to 0 0.008 plus and uh, here is if this multiply this uh two will cancel out and uh one multiplied by negative one that is minus one divided by nine and multiply by three square here is nine divided by a is 125 or square i'm going to leave that one like this plus dot 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 why this is one plus 0 0.008 that is 1.008 and here is uh going to be negative while uh if we take the one divided by one two five or square of this is giving us zero point zero 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 and here is six four and don't forget it still remains some values so we'll add dot 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 why if by subtracting these two from each other 1.008 minus 0 0.0006564 we are going to have 1.00 and uh, we still have 7936 and don't forget it is still going that way unless i will stop at uh, four decimal places so if you have this we are going to stop here and recall from the above that five bracket one plus three divided by 125 all raised to the power of one divided by three is going to be five multiplied by the result here which is 1.007936 and by multiplying this one uh this out we have the result to be 5.0397 and here is the expansion of that one by taking the key root of 128, we get this result. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Never stop learning.